boys and girls. It's me, Miss Rosto. Um, I'm going to read you a book today. It's called A Picture Pie by Ed Emberly. And it's a book basically about um, shapes. And we've been talking about fractions this week. So it's talking about circles and how you can cut them and divide them in halves and to create different little animals and things or different um, little objects. So we're going to go ahead and um, look and see what we can do because you're going to do this in class. See that cool little mouse? And that's just from one circle. See how he's eating his little watermelon? And see that little bird? So I'm gonna show you how we can do that. And it shows you how a circle in this book can be divided like a pie. It can be used to make pictures of all kinds of things. These four simple basic shapes, and let, let's look here. See these shapes right here? right here and they're all cut out from circles can be put back together to make a set of other more complex shapes so I'm going to show you this shape right here and I'm going to add it to another one and see how it kind of changes right there and this can be like a flower petal and you can add like a couple there and it'll make like a petal or you can add three and then um, And that would be like a flower if you add like the little stem and then you can add the little leaves so see you can create different kinds of things with these shapes okay and then see how all the like depending on the number of circles that you cut out you can make all types of design look at all these cool really cool designs uh -huh. see and you can make frames and borders and then you can repeat the patterns, kind of like a quilt. So um, now this is gonna be the cool part because I'm gonna share some things with your teacher and you guys can, if she wants to, you guys can make yourself a little bird in class. So we're gonna use a few, we're gonna use two circles, okay? And we're going to make a bird. So first we're gonna take some of these shapes and now I have and my bird is gonna be different colors, okay? So I'm gonna take the half of a circle and then I'm going to take one fourth of a circle and that's going to be his little head, okay? And then after that, I'm going to add his little beak because what do birds need to say tweet tweet? They need their little beak. And then what else does he need? Let's see, he needs his little Tail. So I'm going to get another a little eighth of a circle and then I'm going to put his little tail. And then after that, I still don't see a bird. He's missing a couple of things. So what does he need to walk? He needs his little legs. And then what does he need to see? His little eye. There you go. And there we have a little bird. So what you're gonna do in class is you're gonna cut some circles and then you're, well, you're gonna color them first, cut them and create your own little bird. But I'm gonna show you real quick before we go some of the beautiful little animals that you can create using circles and um, dividing them in halves, fourths, eighths, okay? And it's all about fractions. See that little cool little dog? And that little fox and the little fish. What does the fox say? <laughs> That's Miss Anderson, guys. And see this, these cool little fishes in the ocean? Really cool stuff. So you guys can get creative with your circles and make different kinds of animals, okay? So we're going to end there. And I want you guys to have lots of fun in class doing your little picture pies. Bye, guys.